Hey everybody, it's Carly here. Happy Monday. So it's Monday afternoon. Um, just got home a little bit ago, got some comfy clothes on and thought I'd share with you this little haul. So I didn't plan on um, going to Michael's and buying any paper, but I'm getting ready to make another Christmas album for another secret um, Santa, dirty Santa swap. And I needed some more of the discs. So I ran into Michael's hoping that they would have them. They're on sale, but all the ones, the only ones that they had that would go, they had uh, the pastel set, the Disney set, a yellow smiley set. They didn't have any other colors other than these really large gold ones. So I went ahead and got two because I think they were, I don't know what to do with my receipt. I think they're 30 or 40% off. So I think they were like four something. So I went ahead and got two packs since I was there. And um, across the street is Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and went in there, so I picked up a couple of things. They had them, but they're not on sale, but they didn't have any other colors other than these besides the, the metal ones. And they are like triple the price. So though they are probably, I really wanted to have a silver or a black or a red, um, but they only had the gold. And I wasn't driving all over town. Um, but I went ahead and got these. So these will work. I'm also going to look to see what I have here in my stash of other planners. And if I see something else, I can just swap them out because these are super large. So I went ahead and got these, like I said, and they were on sale at Michael's. Hobby Lobby had some, same kind. They were, I know they were $6.99 a piece and I paid less than that at Michael's, but Hobby Lobby didn't have any others different than what Michael's had. So it is what it is. So I guess I'll be using gold. Um, while I was at Michael's, um, the store is very much picked over. They still have a ton of fall stuff. They have moved it to the back of the store and they still have a ton of Halloween stuff moved to the back of the store. I still don't think that my Michaels truly got a lot of the Christmas stuff that they normally do or I've seen in other people haul because the shelves are very bare. What they did have, a lot of it's gone. I just glanced at it and when I went, you're gonna hear the dogs because I just got home and I felt bad because they've been outside uh, for a couple hours and it's kind of chilly. So they're, they're running around my room so you're gonna hear them. Um, so I did walk around the seasonal section, which was very limited and went ahead and picked up a couple of things. I got these little jingle bells. I probably have some here in my stash, but these were all 50% off. So these were two fifty, and, um, I thought these would be make, make cute dangles and additions to many albums and other projects. So I thought they were cute. They had some other colors. They had, um, one with metallics, but I thought I was going to make my goal was to make um, a red and white based album, like the peppermint, which is re one reason why I went ahead and got this, but I found these first. So I kind of had it in my mind that I wanted to do a red and white theme, but I'm going to have to put gold in it, which this paper pad does have gold. So this will probably work. Um, so I picked these up and then these were half off as well. And I got them for the peppermints. And then there's a little ribbon in there and then there's some candy cane charms in there so i thought those were cute and again they were half off so this was 450 and then i told myself i wasn't going to be buying any more paper but um when i went to price check these you know these are usually 20 dollars. they rang up 4.99 there was no sign no nothing um I didn't check the ads or anything. And of course the coupons, their coupons have not been that great. I think there's a 20% off, but it has to be regular price and everything that I got was on sale because this was $4.99. So if you're looking or thinking about getting the paper pads, I had the plaid one. I went ahead and put it back I'm trying to be good. So I did get this one and I think several people have shown this one, but it's peppermint stripe. Super cute. Again, it's, a lot of red and white, but I thought, and some gold. So those gold will look pretty with this. So this was my inspiration. I already knew I was going to make one red and white. So when I saw this in person, I'd seen other people haul it. I thought this would be a great start to a mini album. 
So I went ahead and got this again, $4.99. So if you've been eyeing these, my store had a ton of these. They must have just gotten them in because they didn't have any of the Christmas last time I was there. Like I said, they had the plaid one. I went ahead and put that back. I originally had two of these in my hand and went ahead and just got the one so I can mix and match with what I've got. And I went ahead and got this Silent Night and what sold me on it are the ice skates. So this is pink, silver, and then of course that minty green, blue color. And I didn't open them up, but I think several people have shown those. But isn't this pretty? I thought about making a mini album in this for the giveaway or the you know exchange, but I'm not sure that everybody likes this color palette. But I did, I love this, with the gray background. So pretty, that was my favorite page. Don't know why, it just is, I love the cut aparts. Love it, aren't they pretty? So I went ahead and got this because they were $4.99. And um, so yeah, so that's what I got at Michael's. Then across the street, I love this, love, that, love, 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 love that. So across the street is Hobby Lobby. That's where I went, just in case they had any other of the discs, which they didn't, like I've said. But while I was there, Hobby Lobby impresses me all the time. Luckily, it was not that crowded. It was, the parking lot was just like a regular day. So that made me feel good because I got there, I think about 2.30 or 3, about 3 o'clock. So I was like, oh gosh, everybody's going to be in there. But it wasn't too bad. Um, so I was going up and down the aisles. I'm just amazed at how much product they sell. Hobby Lobby, I mean... When you walk in, I don't know about your store, but when you walk in, they have the registers, and then usually that the, the seasonal stuff is right here in my store, and then it goes down the back aisle. I've been in others that it's flipped, and it goes like this, but my the one I went in today is like that. It goes like that, and then the scrapbooking is back in the corner, and then it's um, glass and wood in the corner, and then like jewelry and kid stuff, and then fine arts, and then coming around there's fabrics and wedding and you know plants and then everything in the middle so I'm just really impressed with how they're able to move things around condense things they've already got stuff out for um, home decor for like spring not necessarily spring but you know what I mean it's they've moved the what Christmas they've just condensed it and I was just there like two weeks ago maybe a week ago and they have just they impressed me. So, um, let me share with you what I got. I had seen these a long time ago, and then when I went to get one, they were gone. But I did find one of the little ginger bread little mini cups. This was half off, so this was $2. They only had one, so I went ahead and got this to add to my little decorations upstairs in the kitchen. Isn't that cute? So, I have some little mini candy, candy canes. I thought that might be adorable in there, so I got that. I did get this, they had the little mini rolling pins. This was $3.99, so it was half off, and they had different sayings. I think they had joy, ho, 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 and something else. But I got the ho, 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 and got that, so that was $2. I had seen these early on, and I passed on them, but I thought I might just get the one. They had one left that I could find and, and use it on my little tiered tray in the kitchen. So this was $1.50 it was very cute so I got that and I picked up a couple stickers since I'm making another album um, I got these little candy canes knowing that I had bought that paper so I'm sure I've got something similar in my stash I got those these are like a hard acrylic so they're half off so I basically uh, got these two I went ahead and got the ginger little acrylic so this is basically like two for one and then this is a dollar fifty. Then I was going down one of the other aisles, and I looked at the Nutcrackers, and I love Nutcrackers. I think they're so much fun. And I spotted this one that I didn't remember seeing in the past, and I went ahead and got him um, to treat myself. So again, they're half off. Isn't he adorable? He's a little baker Nutcracker. He's got some baking supplies in there in his pocket, a rolling pin, and I guess a spoon of some sort some loaves of bread or ginger I'm not quite sure and then he's holding some little gingerbread cookies isn't he adorable 
I think he's super cute. He was $21.99, so I got him for half off. This Candy Cane Lane Nutcracker. Super adorable. I did notice while I was looking there that some of them had different shades. This is a deeper red, so I went with the deeper red. The other one was more lighter red, but it was kind of an orangey red. So I, I went through and picked the nicest one that I could find. So got him. And then um, in the little floating aisles, what I call like the little mini kiosks as you're going down, they had condensed a bunch of stuff and they had, I guess in the weeks past, they had had quite a few of them that were thematic. Like they have, all right guys. So, so I got a phone call from an agent that needed some help. So I have one more thing to share with you that I found and I only found one of them. And it was in the little middle, what I call the little, uh, they're like little kiosks or little floating islands or whatever displays in the middle of the walkways. And they're, they've all, they're always at Christmas time, like thematic, like they'll have the one that has all silver and white or blue and white or all gingerbread. And I've been to Hobby Lobby lots of times and I've never seen this. And it caught my eye because Marilyn, my crafting buddy, had received something like this. Not the same thing, but something similar um, and as a gift. And it caught my eye on the display. And then I walked around the store trying to see if I saw any others. So this is what I found. And this is what caught my eye was Gooseberry Patch. Look at this. A Very Merry Christmas Cookbook. Tried and true recipes to make your holiday special. From our kitchen to yours. And there are the authors, Joanne and Vicki. Now, I looked to try to find a year on here. And it says you can follow them. Um, they have a blog, YouTube channel. Oh, I'm going to have to check all these out. So, it was $17.95. And then I got half off of that. It says Christmas 2021. So, it must be fairly new. But I want you guys to take a look. Look, the pages, the way they're they're printed, not on white, white, they feel more vintage. But isn't this adorable? You can actually submit your own recipes, and I'm thinking I might. I make a couple of cookies, recipes that I have made over the years, and I am thinking about submitting one. Because if you read it somewhere on here, I haven't looked at everything. If your recipe is selected for a book, you'll receive a free copy. How cool would that be? So they've got all kinds of people from all over. There's York, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, and that have talked about their books. And it says, tell you a little bit about yourself if you submit something. And then I just love all of the artwork. artwork. That's what caught me my eye. And I this is very familiar. I'm going to have to check my other cookbooks. I think I have one of their other um, cookbooks. And I think it's for cookies specifically. But this one is super cute. I think it's adorable. And there's some yummy looking um, recipes in there, but look at all the illustrations. So check out your Hobby Lobby guys. This is so much fun. I'm going to um, set this up in my kitchen and I'm gonna give some of these recipes a try. And I think that will be a lot of fun. I love to bake. When I had my daycare, I made a lot more. But aren't these adorable? Super cute. And I love how there's like little stories that people have submitted. How cute is that? So I can't wait to go in here and really do a deeper dive. What I love about this is it's just not all sweets. There's, you know, soups and salads and appetizers and actual entrees. Super cute. Look at that. So I, I can't wait to really come in here and really enjoy looking at this book and all the illustrations. So check out your Hobby Lobby, guys. That's where I picked it up. My store had one, and I looked all over. But I'm pretty sure that I have another one of their publications um, in my recipe cabinet upstairs. So check them out, and there they are, gooseberrypatch.com. So... That was a surprise find at my trip at Hobby Lobby today. Hope you guys are all doing good. I've got to get busy making this other album because it is for tomorrow's team meeting at my office. And 
the other one was such a hit. Everybody's like, you need to make another one for the office um, Christmas party. Well, we had a Christmas party, our big gala on Saturday um, where we get up, get dressed up and everything. But tomorrow is a team meeting and we have um, snacks and food, like finger foods. And then everybody brings a gift and we play Dirty Santa. So I've got to make another album tonight. So i got to get busy. Hope y'all all have a wonderful week and hopefully I'll be talking to you soon. Bye everybody.